Hey, good morning, Scott. Good morning, Tess. This certainly is interesting because right now there is no requirement in Arizona. Yes, you have to take your permit test, right? And then at that point, you have about 30 hours of supervised driving that you have to do, right? But that's just like a parent signing off or a guardian signing off. This would add another level, add another layer to that. So under this proposal, this is a bill that is moving through the House right now. It would require a four-hour driving class for teens before they get their license. It would instruct ADOT to basically establish this driver's education course that could be taken online or in person. The goal here, reduce crashes, they say, moving violations, and educate young drivers about the rules of the road. According to the CDC, 2,800 teens in the U.S. died in crashes in 2020 alone, and 227,000 were hurt. Those are some high numbers, and we know distracted driving is at an all-time high right now. Republican Representative John Gillette is the bill's sponsor. You're going to hear from him in just a second, along with Democratic Representative Jevin Hodge, who voted for the bill, but has some concerns about it. Take a listen. Of our generation, this was taught in high school. You didn't leave high school without driver's ed. And then you still had a waiting period. Driving is a privilege. It's not a right. Firmly believe the intent of the legislation is there. It is exactly what we need. We need to make sure that our young people are educated uh, and they're knowledgeable as they're operating a motor vehicle. My concerns with the legislation, however, uh, stems around the fact that there, there would be a, a requirement to pay for this course. So the cost right now, anywhere between about $25 and $50, that's what's being proposed. That final number has not been worked out. So this bill passed through a House Transportation Committee. So still a couple of steps before it gets signed into law. Jevin Hodge, the representative who you heard from last, says he does think that there is a good likelihood that it'll pass. So we'll keep you posted, guys, on the progress. And coming up at 730, pretty interesting to take a look at how other states compare to Arizona. So many more have driver's ed programs in place. So we'll break down some of those numbers when we see you back here in an hour. Yeah, it is interesting to think that there are no requirements whatsoever, I mean, right? How are they going to learn? Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Kylie. We'll see you in a bit.